Steve Tedro Lyons, one of our referees, and the other being Tony De La Serres, and we're all in readiness. Men of League Heritage Round, Round 10 from the Sydney Cricket Ground. What an afternoon it is. And let's hope the game is just as good, I'm sure it will be, as Isaac Luke gets us underway and the ball yeah, goes over the dead ball line from the kickoff. A horror start for South, for Balmain, or the West Tigers, I should say, getting excited. It's almost identical to the start we saw last week from Newcastle. If you're ever in doubt where to stand from a kickoff, stand deep and come onto the ball. Well, they had every part of the field cut. Here yeah, for the Tigers. Louis with the kick. Taken there by Talanoa. The links with Reese Wesser. He's got Nathan Merritt with him as well. Decides not to use him. He's taken the ground there by Lawrence and Ellis. He just needed another man back with him, didn't he? I saw Bo Champion walking back after the kick. If, if he'd gone back and linked up as well, the Rabbitohs were in business on that right side. Into space, Burgess, Merritt with the pass. Burgess, Merritt, Merritt away, and he will score the first try of the afternoon. Goes to Nathan Merritt. He started it. A simple run around with Sam Burgess and South Sydney lead by four points to nil. Simplicity at its best. Nice play by the winger. It took something special, didn't it, to hit Burgess. Very flat pass. But I'm happy to go with that out of the hands. It looked like it was OK. And that one as well from Burgess. Merritt streaking away. Marshall gave up the chase with 10 to go under the post. It's been a, a field of dreams for Nathan Merritt considering his match-winning field goal here last year, and he started with the next points for his team here at the SCG. A try under the sticks. They needed it. They've had some good field position, the Rabbits, and now they've cashed in. Defender. Here is Isaac Luke from right in front. Has little trouble in adding the extras. You get serial defenders from either side, you can put them in the mid. But look, players tackling up high find themselves around the football. They've just got to be careful of waking the, the hand back out of the tackle. Hyington, Taylor really away from the attempted at tackle. Six metres away from the line. Louis takes them on and takes them on well and scores on his return. Robert Louis straight through and the Tigers are back. Jammed up tight as well. Three or four defenders on each attacker and Dave Taylor now trying to get some go forward happening. Here's Geddes, and they line him up. Hyington coming in, wrapping him up around the ball. Good, solid shot. Moore's in there as well. Here's Stewart. Last tackle here for the Rabbitohs. Awful pass out in front of Sutton. Low with the dummy. It may be a blessing in disguise here for South Sydney. Dave Taylor dives over. Well, that's freakish. That's a fluke. It was an awful pass from Isaac Luke. Ben Lowe got a dream bounce, and Dave Taylor was never going to be stopped. How ironic the Rabbitohs have scored from an awful pass. Every player on the field was thinking about the kick coming, but Ben Lowe, what a great dummy. And then he had the presence of mind to just draw the fullback, pop that short ball to Dave Taylor, who was always going to be hard to stop anywhere from that sort of position. What a great dummy there, Ben Lowe. Back inside, Taylor screaming for the football. He gets it. And gets over. Rabbitohs right back in it. Six metres in from touch. Right in front of the members' pavilion at the SCG. And he adds the extra two. And South are now back in front by six. It was interesting. I thought he was trying to get up to play the football after he'd been tackled by Sando. He got knocked out. I'll come back for me. Stuart. One and a half minutes out from half time. Burgess had the arm cocked, but there was no one to pass to. Sutton was drifting a bit wide. They're short to the right here. The Tigers defensively. They go that way south. Sutton with the show and go. The offload to Sando. Around Ryan. Who's lost the ball? Does he know he got it down? It was the foot of Lonnie Takiri. He rolled over. There was no double movement there. And Chris Sando has scored the third South Sydney try. And the Bunnies extend their lead in the SCG. 16-6 with a kick to come. It was John Sutton again.
showing and going. He's causing all sorts of trouble out there. From the, the very first set they got the football, Johnny Sutton broke through. They didn't come up with points. They do this time. Lawrence, well, the inside defender there just couldn't hang on to him. And Sando backing up, rolls over. No doubt at all about a double movement. Great try, the Rabbits. Lifting up into the commentary box. It's a wonderful day at the SCG Men and League Heritage Round. And Isaac Luke has got the kicking boots on today. He adds the extra two, and the Tigers are in trouble. No, no, no. Luke, out of acting half. 15 seconds remaining. A couple of tackles left here for South. Wessa, Sutton, carrying the ball in one hand. Can't get it away. Here's the last. Chris Sando, what are you going to do? Nothing. Merritt's got it. Numbers here. Low. Ball on the ground. Picked up there by Pettyborn. They had a half a chance there. South City, they had the numbers. But at half time here in the Men of League Heritage Round Clash at the SCG, it is South Sydney leading the West Tigers by 18 points. Steve Tedra Lyon signals time back on. And South Sydney defending the Northern or MA Noble and Bradman stand end of the SCG. And the Tigers defending the Clive Churchill stand end. A round weekend. Paddington end defended by South Sydney, depending on your era. Is Burgess towards the 30 and over it by about a meter. He's not well either. Sam Burgess gets up very gingerly. It's a left leg problem. Is it his knee or his ankle? Not good at all. McPherson. He can barely walk. Well, that's his left knee, and the trainer's put his hand up as well to, to let the bench know that he's he's not in good shape. And while Bo Ryan brings his football back for the Tigers, I'm just keeping an eye on Sam Burgess in back plays. Now on the right wing for the Rabbits and trying to see if he can run on that leg OK, but I've got to say, first indications are it's, it's not good at all. That's a blow for the Bunnies. He's gone. He won't, he won't last, and the Tigers have come up with another mistake. Lottie De Carey came off his wing there to, to take the football up. Well, here's the injury from Sam Burgess. That's the third hit up after the, the restart from the break, and he's hurt his right knee somehow when he fell on it there. I thought it was his left getting stuck in the, in the turf. A big divot came up. I'm sure it's his left. Uh, it's one or the other, I'm not sure. <laughs> More concerning things here for South. Is there a chance to really make it tough for the Tigers early in the second half? A full set, 10 metres out. Luke falling heavily on his head. Talanoa. Three metres away from the line. Burgess still on the field but limping. Sutton. They're not falling for the dummy on this occasion. Five metres away. Luke at acting half. Sando, Burgess running freer. Wesser, tackle. Five out from the line. Champion at acting half. Very short blind side. Champion's over. He got the ball down. It was a very short blind side. They had the numbers, the Tigers, but their defence was woeful. Bo Champion, what a season he's having. His 10th try, and he may not score any easier than that. Oh, he did it well. They had numbers down there, and because Burgess was there, along with Merritt, defenders held off. Champion got himself in a one-on-one. -on -one. He got between defenders and just used his strength to force his arm over the line. Marshall had to hold off on Burgess, and that's what he did. Champion over the line. What about the poor start for the Tigers? Big raps there for the Bunnies. Great, but the Tigers, second tackle on their when they got the football for the only time this half. They've come up with a mistake. Come back on for him, got a bad replacement. And Luke, has he brought his kicking boots with him in this half? No. Tough one, his first miss of the half. So it goes from bad to worse for the Tigers. If you're looking for a seat at the SCG at the moment, you'll find it on the Tigers' bench. No Liam Fulton, no Blake Ashford. There's only Andrew Fafita. And Junior Moore sitting on the interchange bench. There's even room for Tim Sheens. 
after getting sick of playing against John Lancoke sides with their Tim Sheens. A remarkable record for a coach that has such a, a remarkable record himself. Oh, it is. Tim Sheens, such a successful coach against John Lancoke's team since, since 1994. 15 straight losses in the... To be quite honest, they're heading for 16, number 16 in a row. There's McPherson. Some news on Sam Burgess down to the touchline. Renee Gartner. He has just got a cork in his left knee. The physios and doctors have just told him to keep moving, so he'll be fine out there. If he comes off with that, he won't be back. And here's another mistake from the Tigers. And Bo Champion is over under the black dot. The red and green army are up again. And South Sydney are enjoying a day out of the SCG. It's just like the good old days. You can't let it bounce. You can't let it bounce at the back, but at the SCG, it's just such a hard surface. It's it's going to go anywhere. Are they all onside? No problem at all with that for all the players outside of Luke Sando. Oh, just drifted away there from Marshall. Ryan tries to grab hold of it, and it just sits up. Sits up perfectly into the arms there of Bo Champion. Marshall got a hand to it. Ryan thought he had it. Champion. Oh, that's as good as it gets. Well, the only question would be with the champion in trying to get the... I think it's a try. Here's the decision. And there is the try. He's come up with benefit. Played 60 games. So it's a remarkable strike rate for him as Isaac Luke adds the extra two. Some easy metres for low. And once again, the Tigers' defence almost non-existent there. 15 metres picked up now by Luke out of acting half. Merritt goes into that position on the last tackle. Sutton points to the air, puts it high. It's off the side of the boot. It's near the touch line. Well taken. Daniel Fitzhenry. It wasn't the kick, I'm sure, that Sutton was after. But in the end, it was a tough one for the Tigers because Fitzhenry had to make sure that he wasn't forced over the touch line. That's a pretty good result, isn't it? From a kick. Putting the Tigers on the back foot. Louis Marshall getting on the outside of champion who does well. And Lawrence drops the ball. Sando picks it up and merits for the corner. And the Bunnies are in again. They've scored three tries in five minutes to blow the game wide open. The Tigers surely done and dusted now. And it's a day out for the Rabbits. We'll be bringing back to them. Seeing a South Sydney team piling on the points as Isaac Luke adds a little bit of salt to the Tigers' wound. Well, I think Chase did everything it could. Maybe they needed a couple of more numbers there because Reese Wesser had plenty in front of him when he picked it up, but he, he showed he's still got plenty of pace. Best. Up towards the halfway line. There's plenty more points left in South Sydney here as well. McPherson to Sutton. Sando, great hands, Taylor, here they come again, Dave Taylor has got to get rid of it, a little chip over the top, now the ball is there to be won, and Ellis has it, and Taylor forces him back into the in goal area, well it might look pretty, it might look dramatic, but I'm not sure the coach would have been too happy with that from Dave Taylor. Last tackle, the Tigers, show us something please, here's the kick from Benji Marshall, it's away, looking for a 40-20, and maybe that's the spark the Tigers need. We asked to be shown something, Benji. Here's an opportunity for the Tigers. Lawrence, one-on-one -on -one with Champion, who forces him into touch. Terrific defence from Bo Champion, but awful play from the Tigers. Okay. What happened to the Tigers team that that won four of its first five right, games. Let's go, let's go, that looked home. like they were going to be genuine contenders, and now they've fallen away so far. Taylor, great run. Now here's a chance for Colin Best down the touchline. The chase from Mitch Brown brings him to ground just over the halfway line. South Sydney, here they come again. Isaac Luke through half a gap, and it's closed quickly. Fafita has him. 25 metres away from the line, the Tigers just hanging on again. Sutton 
Out the back to Wessa. Support from Luke. Luke still going. The little hooker is tackled five metres away from the line. Sutton out of acting half low. Hitting a great tackle by Ellis. Did he get over the goal line? No, he's just shy. So he'll have to play it literally on the goal line. He almost put it on the goal line to play it. Here's Sando, crossfield kick. Colin Best has walked on it and scored the easiest of tries. His third from the year. It was for Isaac Luke, their biggest winning margin since 1956. What a day out of the SCG for South Sydney on Men of League Heritage Round Weekend. Their 10 minute period after half time is where they sealed the game. But they also have some improvement to do as Merritt's knocked that on. Did it hit off his knee? Did it come off his knee? They're going to check it upstairs. It may have come off the knee here as Nathan Merritt. Or me, he may have got himself a hat trick. And it may be a club record here for South. I think it might have been a bit of hand there. It certainly did come off his knee. This club in their 318th game at this ground. There is the try to Nathan Merritt in the 318th game at this ground. They have the chance to have their biggest ever winning margin. Something constructive, but he is, and he's spotting those raccoons everywhere. Here's Luke from in front, and there it is. A club record for South Sydney. The most points they've ever scored at the SCG and their biggest winning margin ever at the Sydney Cricket Ground in 318 games and over a century. To say they're in, back in some sort of touch. Plenty of players out there that would, would feel they're in form now and that's a, that can only be a positive for your team. Questions will be asked about the Tigers. Where to for them? This has been this is the low point of their season to date. I'm sure the team scenes would hope that this is the low point of their season 2010. It only gets better from here. Four straight losses. It was pretty awful against the Roosters two weeks ago. Very, very average today. They're not done with yet here, South Sydney. They're looking for a half century at the SCG. It is Ben Lowe taken just shy of the ground. The goal line, I should say. He's taking the ground, McPherson at acting half. Here's Sutton. Sutton looking for runners, going himself. That left arm is there. He's almost going to reach out and put the ball over the goal line. He's that close. Last tackle here for South. Luke to Sando. Taylor. Taylor throws it out to Talanoa. And Talanoa's over in the corner. South Sydney have hit the half century at the SCG for the first time in over 100 years. Low. Here is Taylor. Champion looking for a hat trick. The ball out the back. Low chasing Lawrence. Oh, that means he'll get there. Chris Lawrence will score in the corner. A consolation try for the West Tigers. And if they convert the try, they've saved themselves from being a little bit of a part of history here for South Sydney. Chris Lawrence and away he went. I don't think anyone was going to catch him from there. He's a real speedster, but what a tough afternoon it's been for the Tigers. Kids are getting ready to pile onto the field. Corner posts, are gone. a couple of corner posts are already gone. We've got a minute to play. Well, we're probably not going to get it much more footy this afternoon. The officials are happy to let them take them. I told you to get Sats to get up there and get it before. Oh, Scotty, go to the northern end. There's still a couple corner posts. This to equal the biggest winning margin for South Sydney at the SCG. And the Tigers hit the upright. Now it just scrapes it to the left. And so the score remains 50 points to 10, which is still the biggest winning margin ever for South Sydney at the SCG. Morning, the belt, the West Tigers. What a terrible day at the office. Four straight losses. Tony Laceris making the run to halfway for two seconds. And Chris Sando thought about the quick kick. But, but, and there it is. It is full time at the Sydney Cricket Ground. And would you believe it, in 318 matches, this is the first time South Sydney have managed 50 and their biggest winning margin ever at this famous ground. Full time, South Sydney 50.
the West Tigers 10.